So I want to share with you my experience and struggle of being a painter. I remember back then you went to a store, you bought your paints and you bought your miniature. No one actually tells you how you actually need to paint. That was such a shame because they were selling you a product and they were giving you no instructions. So you bought paint, you bought your miniature, you bought a brush and you started going. It was kind of crap honestly because usually when someone sells you something in the box it comes with the instructions but not with painting you had to find a way on how to manage to get through this and my was it a struggling experience because even when you were painting with your friends like it was something new and no one told you how it works so it goes a long way from just taking your brush into the paint pot and applying that on your miniature really it was a great time to experience because with all the mistakes we made we were able to improve as well there was certainly a way where we could have avoided all those mistakes i remember still having a great time the enjoyment of painting with your friends of seeing what they do and having the feedbacks on how you're actually painting one of the things I clearly remember was when one of my acquaintance told my friend that my painting was trash. And wow, coming from someone who didn't know anything about painting, who was not even painting himself. Yeah, I remember that time. But in any way, we were really young. When someone tells you that what you're doing is trash, it really gets into your mind. What I used as a motivation for myself was issuing a challenge for myself. I didn't mind anymore about what he told, what he said. I don't even remember the words, but I still remember the miniature. It was Craig the Grimm from Warhammer Fantasy Battles. And it, he was a really short, short in stature. Getting all the details, like the eyes, the face, was really a struggle. It's really something that when you start painting, you might have a problem with, and that's totally normal. And as time went on and on and on, then of course I improved my skills. Let's dig a bit deeper in my own experience. I wanna share with you what actually happened. The characteristic of the dwarves in Warhammer Fantasy Battle is that they were really small, they were really short, and getting all the details together and painting right was really a problem. I had the choice of painting the infantry, the cannons, then all the war machines. The volume you had to paint was tremendous. You could not start fantasy warmer battles with just a couple of figures. You had to buy the whole thing. There was basically a lot to paint it was really a pain in the end i still had to paint all those infantry guys all those tanties and they were really really small so after issuing that challenge to my mind i started painting and painting and painting if i was going back i would probably take a look at what kind of miniatures i will be painting and you had so much choice today there are the big ones there are the small ones am i going to paint something big or am i going to paint something small and usually, I, what I would really suggest is start by maybe something that will not tire your eyes. The choice of miniatures you can paint today is tremendous. And the game you will play will also have a big role in your painting experience. For starters, probably you've seen the Warmer 40K. It's really a squad based game. When I started painting, about maybe 20 years ago. I really enjoyed Warmer Fantasy Battle. It was really all the rage and everyone wanted to play that game. And all the miniatures that were accessible were really small, but when your skills improved from one miniature to the other, the enjoyment starts. I really started improving my skills by listening one of my acquaintance who said, you start with one miniature and when this miniature is finished, you start with another from the same squad. It was in the Warhammer 40k and I was painting as Tramilitarum Guardsmen. There are so many that the motivation can run out fast. However, with this strategy, it was really motivating because as you start with one single miniature, you can see the improvement of every single 
guardsmen or miniature that you will be painting and it's really rewarding because at the end you will see it's not even the same miniature anymore you have improved i really enjoyed the time painting all those war machines the tank and maybe the miniatures the less because they were so small back then there was really no way around it so i ended up not playing Warhammer Fantasy Battle anymore. Honestly, I actually never finished painting my Dwarf Army. There was another time where I started playing again, but this time I made a pretty, I think, intelligent choice. I played Chaos Warriors. Those big models were really, really a piece of cake to paint. You know, there were many spikes and everything that I had to paint, but that big cavalry, those big miniatures was really easy to paint. And then what happened? Well, the game just shut down. There were no rules anymore to play those miniatures. They're still active in a way, but there's no ruling anymore. You would have to use the old rules from the whole book. And if you can get your hands on that book well good for you but painting from warmer fantasy battle to warmer 40k is totally another game really at that point my painting skills started improving when i entered warmer 40k as for the miniatures in warmer 40k are larger and bigger it already made a huge difference in the skill improvement starting from that point i still kept the same strategy taking one miniature finishing that one single miniature and then starting another one and you will be surprised at the time it takes to paint a whole squad of, of five or ten whether it's space marines tyranids imperial guardsmen when you will finish your first squad the experience you will have gained just painting five to ten miniatures will improve and I encourage you to take a look at the first miniature you will have painted and compare it to the last one you've painted. You will be surprised. There is no way at all that you won't find any improvement. As I was maybe more acquainted to all that painting, to all that YouTube research, I spoke with a friend of mine and we really, really wanted to experience Marvel Crisis Protocol. We said to each other, well, you know why not paint those miniatures as well you can really focus on a single miniature at a time so it goes with the strategy i was talking about earlier about taking one miniature painting this one and then going over the other the scale of the miniatures for that game is really larger than warmer 40k and we really really enjoyed painting them it really was a major transition going from warmer fantasy battle to marvel crisis protocol so of course comparing dwarves from warmer fantasy battle to thanos in marvel crisis protocol is kind of a no-brainer i would 10 times paint thanos than paint a single dwarf from warmer fantasy battle it's way easier to paint larger models than small models so as i went on painting the best advice i could give myself not to struggle was to take my time one of the mistakes i did when i started painting was really the fact that i wanted to go way too fast you will always have to go back and repair the mistakes you have done and doesn't work that way you won't improve yourself trying to go fast trying to rush a miniature painting should be an experience you enjoy and it's not something that you should rush through even if you have volumes of model to paint don't rush the experience take your time one model after the other do not ever compare yourself to other painters don't look at instagram because obviously everyone who posts on instagram are posting golden demon level painting i mean even to this day when i take a look at instagram and i compare my miniatures to their miniatures i mean wow you could be motivated by how great your painting skill could improve by watching those but they don't really give you a guide to achieve those results and on the other hand you can get a lack of motivation by saying to yourself well uh, how can I get to that level? There are so many skilled painters out there who have 20, 30, 40 years of experience. Of course, they will be better than you. You can take them as a reference for an ultimate goal, maybe something that you want to achieve. You could even want to reach Golden Demon level. That will be a great achievement for yourself. As I painted over the years, I was really proud of doing commissioned painting. And if you're not 
acquainted with commission painting, you will actually get paid to paint someone's miniature. And it's not something I was doing openly, but my close friends started watching what I was actually painting. That I was getting pretty good. I really enjoyed being asked for commission painting, but it's not something I want to do. If you really want to get into commission painting at some point, there is something called Fiverr. You will be able to post your services to paint miniatures and you will get paid for this. Even after all that time gaining experience and you know improving my skills, I don't think that Fiverr would be something for me in any way. Having a dedicated station to paint at home is really something that you should have. And if you don't, please do. If you really wanted to improve your skills 15 years ago, then you had to pay a guy and go to his class. And those class were like $300, $400. It really was super expensive. And I found that so ridiculous. Never in my life would I pay $300 to get a class from someone like face to face. You can access all that information on YouTube. There was a guy who started posting how to paint miniatures. His name is Duncan Rhodes. Yes, the legendary Duncan Rhodes. This was an explosion of skill improvements for anyone. He has a lot of tutorials on miniatures that you might have. And the range goes from Warmer 40K, Age of Sigmar, Middle Earth. And if you found the story kind of resemble yours, then leave a comment below and I will be happy to discuss the matter with you. Thank you so very much for watching this video. And if you want to watch other of my videos on the channel, then take a look.